And you're here out of hope because you like popular music, like me. And that you like popular music of the 40s, in particular, the war years. Man, I have to confess, I was not alive. <laughs> All right. That's Kate Smith. I want to play one of her performances for you. Okay, you can't do that because I won't be able to get through this presentation. <laughs> that was very really touching. I want you all to imagine yourself as adults during the World War II years, living day by day. You're either at home and you're missing people that you love that are serving, or you're off in service, not knowing for how long or what's going on at home or when you'll ever get home again. So when you hear these songs for the first time with that mindset, I want you to pay attention to the lyrics and see how it hits you in your heart. Here's a young man. Let's hear his As these songs were playing, I saw people kind of quietly singing along. I've got a grip on myself now. If you want to see it. <laughs> I think I can muster through it. Swing and sway with Sammy Kim. This is tagline. And that featured the Cage Choir, and then Chattanooga Choo Choo. I think you all recognize that. From May of 1941, Glenn Miller, of course. Uh, we can't do any of this presentation without hitting Glenn Miller a few times. It seems, as I do this pop music research, that every decade has a breakout star that appeals to young teenage girls. <laughs> <laughs> and the video is the same image of any tale girls. <laughs> well, the hairstyles might change, but they're just going crazy, they're clapping, they're excited. Uh, and, and I always like to watch the audience and we show those things because there's always kind of a nervous laughter. In my opinion, you recognize yourself. <laughs> <laughs> and you think, oh, that's what it is. But I used to do that with my girlfriend. I'm a musician. I'm an instrumentalist. I play percussion. I love instrumental music. There's no instruments on those two performances you just heard. That's incredible to me because I think they're great performances and great arrangements. Literally, my mind puts instruments into what I'm hearing. I think that I heard piano and drums in there, but they're not there. And I could prove that because I bet if we stood up and pushed all the tables aside and I played those again, you could all dance <laughs> to those two songs and enjoy doing it. I hear a tempo. You know, I used to teach marching band, and so I could just see the soldiers <laughs> marching like that. Well, that didn't go over with the older officers, and hit day arrives on September 2nd, 1945. The war is over. It's been a long, long time. So that brings us to the end of that decade and the end of my presentation. But I'd like you, does anybody have a comment that came to mind that you'd like to share or a question for me now? Yes. Well, this is kind of but I know you said the big bang started. Still is popular, but just not at the scale that it was in those early years. That was a good question. Thank you for letting me eliminate all that. It's still good music. Oh, it sure is. <laughs> Anyone else? Well, Harry, do you have a list of all those songs you played for us? I'm going to go home and Google them and go find them. Well, I don't know. Yes. I'm just going to say a lot has probably heard some of that music, but to hear the way you put it together and see the background and the history, it was amazing. And thank you so Boy, talk about timing. <laughs> I knew what the last slide was. You're very kind. I appreciate your attention to me. Thank you all so much for being here. I was going to ask if this was worth getting out on such a cold day. <laughs>